Julie Kelly joins us now, author of the book, January 6th. She writes her stuff at American Greatness, which is really, really, really good, by the way. Okay, Julie, you have a little bit of breaking news specifically pertaining to you today and Kevin McCarthy. What? What happened? So first, let's just take a step back. I'm always the one with the bad news. So uh, this is refreshing mm -hmm. to have some good news, especially to share yes. with you. Um, so yes. I was contacted. I was contacted by Speaker McCarthy's office several weeks ago. Um, they granted permission for me to access the thousands of hours of CCTV. This is the surveillance video that DOJ has uh, kept under wraps under protective orders, not just from the public, but also from defendants and defense attorneys. So I was able to access uh, those videos. I will tell you, it is overwhelming. Um, there are close to 2,000 cameras in the system uh, with multiple angles and coverage over a few days. Uh, so I've only begin, begun to scratch the surface of looking at certain timestamps and certain areas that I want to review. The other reporters who got access, John Solomon at Just the News, he will be breaking, I believe, the first set of new clips uh, tomorrow on Thursday. And then the other reporter is Joe Hanneman at Epic Times, who has done tremendous investigative work. So the three of us are sort of going to be working in tandem, rolling out uh, these clips and giving context, of course, with stories and uh, accompanying uh, reporting on them. Julie, I, I think the answer is pretty obvious by now, but I guess I might as well ask the obvious question. Why didn't they just hand all these tapes over to begin with? Why all the secrecy, especially keeping it from defendants? That doesn't seem even legal. So um, I, I know what you're asking. I just want to make sure that it's not Speaker McCarthy or Republicans who are keeping it from the defendants. They actually have given defendants and defense attorneys access to tapes that they have not seen in over two years. That is the question, though, Jesse. Why is the Department of Justice and Capitol Police, why have they worked so hard to keep the surveillance video under wraps? And I think that those questions will answer themselves as we roll out clips that the American people have not seen and give much greater context to the events of January 6th than what we've been told by the media certainly by the January 6th Select Committee. Um, and I think the American people are going to be surprised at what they see in this video and understand why the Biden regime wants to keep it uh, under protect, strict protective orders.